world is filled with shit that we can't control. You get a jag bag of a boss, your husband leaves. I'm done. Good luck doing better than this. When life gives you lemons, you turn that shit into Mike's Hard Lemonade. Hola chicos, ¿cómo están? How are you? Good, Muy how bien. are you? I'm, I'm very excited to talk to you because, well, I'm in Chicago and I love the show, so it's I'm so happy to, to talk to you. Oh, thank you. Thank um, you. Thanks for having us. Laura, let me ask you. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you actually work in Second City or you participate in Second City here in Chicago, right? Yes, I did for two years, yeah. That's awesome. So let me, let me ask you, what makes the humor from Chicago different to the humor from the rest of the world? Great question. You know, I think Chicago is a really savvy town comedically. Um, Second City is kind of cultural there, if that makes sense. And, you know, I, I'm originally from Canada, from Toronto, and and people go to see Second City in Toronto for sure, but it's not part of the, like, cultural fabric, I feel, there like it is in Chicago. And so I think that a lot of Chicagoans have this real kind of, like, high level of interest in comedy, but also in like understanding of comedy because Second City will kind of do some stuff that's a little bit different, like a not not kind of mainstream stuff you'd necessarily see on a, on a you know, SNL or TV in, in other places. So I definitely think audiences in Chicago are, are super smart, super, you know, savvy in comedy. And it made performing there really challenging in a good way. It was, it was like, you couldn't, you didn't you didn't need to dumb anything down and you couldn't water anything down because uh they wouldn't let you you'd get you'd get feedback right away whether people people weren't gonna laugh or 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 not and and you know also chicago audiences they'll they'll be quite vocal if they don't like something which is great because you know right away well <laughs> thank you for telling us that we're smart and loud <laughs> it's true i mean i'm la i listen i'm the same i consider myself the same smart and loud there you go that's awesome have fun at work, sweetie. Thanks, Ma. It's hot out, so drink plenty of pop. And and Rory, let me ask you: If I'm not mistaken, you're from you're from Ohio, Cleveland, yeah. And what have you learned about Chicago doing the show that you didn't know before doing the show? Well, I think that one of the things I learned is that Cleveland and Chicago are so similar because we're Midwest people, and. You know, I have so many, I have a lot of family in Chicago, a lot of cousins, and I've been there many times and I love that city so much, but it's always been the big brother, the big city. It's so much bigger than Cleveland, but it really operates in this smaller nuclear family of, uh, you know, of communities. Like I love that there's Wrigleyville, that's where Diane lives and that there's these different neighborhoods and that's how Cleveland is set up too. And I love that, you know, family is so important and that's just a Midwest thing. Um, and I had an aunt live with, with in my house. Uh, one of my aunts lived there until I was 16 and it was a huge part of my life. And I love that we're getting to tell that love story uh, between an aunt and a nephew. And it just so happens to be a hilarious story as well. I was gonna mention that, I mean, I'm Latino, I'm Mexican, mm. and when we, everybody's our aunt and everybody's our uncle, when you're, you're like, oh, this is your new uncle, even though when they are not, or your new aunt, even when they're not. So yes. I love to see a show with that relationship of love with your uncles and your aunts, it's on yeah. TV because we don't see that, those relationships often. So I, I love I that. I agree, it's so specific and it's, it's important, you know, my mom, is actually an amazing aunt. She is always she has always been there for all of my cousins. And it's such an important dynamic, you know, because you can tell things to your aunt that you can't tell to your parents because your parents will crumble if they hear about it. <laughs> and your aunt can be stronger for you, you know? So I was raised by a pack of ants and I love them to death. Oh, I love that. Me too, especially as a gay kid, your aunts are very important, so. Yes. I love well, that. The body is the new face, and yours is frowning. <laughs> Annie Ocarina, what's your return policy? Like, are we just making sure the tags are still on, or are you running a black light over everything? Guys, and I'm, I'm so excited because I'm actually your neighbor. I mean, I'm in Lakeview, and Diane is in Brickleville, so. <laughs> that's there you go. I was the show, and I was like, that's so cool. They're my neighbors. And I'm yeah. sure that hopefully Daniel can come to Lakeview and to Voice Town and. <laughs> and party, he's a little older. He's still 18 in the show. 
absolutely. <laughs> Listen, I think that I think that Diane has has shared a few late nights in uh, in Boys Town, and, and I'm going to tell you a little something. Lauren Ash has too. So there you go. <laughs> so is Rory O'Malley. <laughs> <laughs> And I live here, so I'm always here. <laughs> I love right. it. Thank you so much, guys. I, I love this show, and thank you for doing something so special for Chicago. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Adios.